According to data from the World Health Organization, the percentage of adults worldwide who have diabetes increased from 4.7% in 1980 to over 8.5% in 2019. That's a big change in less than 40 years. But take a moment to think about this. What if your body was trying to warn you whisper, yell, or even scream amid these increasing numbers, but its signals were being muffled? Which gets us to our urgent question. Could it be that you're misreading these important cues? We're delving into the subtleties of your body's messages today, focusing on blood sugar abnormalities. The top 10 concerning indicators that your blood sugar is too high will be uncovered by our excursion. Before we go any further, please do us a favor if this introduction has piqued your interest and you're eager to learn more about the secret messages your body is trying to tell you. Please hit the subscribe button, like our content, and remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss such important updates. We also have two incredible presents for our devoted viewers who stick with us through to the very finish. These gifts are sure to improve and advance your journey towards bettering your health. So buckle up and let's continue this fascinating journey together. Warning, some of these signs are very cunning and can pass for regular bumps in your medical regimen. Have you ever attributed your ongoing thirst or occasional memory loss to stress or aging alone? Rethink your assumptions. These could be your body's warning signs, telling you to pay attention. Together, we will go on an enlightening journey that will not only inform, but also completely change the way you perceive your own well-being. Without further ado, let's begin with the first indication on our countdown, a symptom that is crucial to notice, but is frequently ignored. Number 10, mouth dryness. Although dry mouth may seem like a minor inconvenience on a daily basis, it could be a warning sign for a serious health issue. While over 500 medications list dry mouth as a side effect, the American Dental Association also notes that persistent dry mouth is closely associated with elevated blood sugar levels. The science behind it is as follows. Your kidneys work extra hard to filter and absorb extra sugar when your blood sugar spikes. However, if they are unable to keep up, the extra sugar is released through the urine, necessitating the consumption of additional fluids. What is the direct result of dehydration, which can be caused by this frequent urination? Your correct, dry mouth. Therefore, if you consistently feel as though you've just eaten a spoonful of peanut butter without any liquids in it, the cause may be more subtle than simple dehydration. It may be your body's covert method of alerting you to low blood sugar. Number nine, reduced desire. In human relationships, physical intimacy and connection are essential. However, a spike in blood sugar can have a negative impact on this important part of our lives. However, how precisely does blood sugar affect our desire to lust? According to research published in the Journal of Sexual Medicine, uncontrolled high blood sugar levels may harm nerves and tiny blood vessels, reducing blood flow to private areas and decreasing desire. Furthermore, the weariness and stress that come with controlling high blood sugar can have a negative impact on mental health and cause a person to lose interest in personal activities. A decrease in libido, however, may be your body's subliminal signal to check and monitor your blood sugar levels. It's not just about the bedroom blues. Acknowledging this connection is essential for a comprehensive understanding of one's health, not only for the purpose of intimacy. As we delve further into this complex maze of indicators, have you ever wondered how the largest organ in the body your skin communicates with you? Are those bothersome skin problems attempting to tell a secret story? And speaking of which, have you ever stopped to consider those instances of forgetfulness or mental haze? Is there a deeper story here? Or is this just exhaustion? As we continue our exploration, bear these questions in mind. Number eight, skin problems. Often called the window to the body, your skin can reveal a great deal about the state of your internal organs. An increase in blood sugar levels can cause a range of skin issues, such as dryness and itching, as well as dark spots or unexpected breakouts. One possible cause is elevated glucose, 
the American Academy of Dermatology states that because their immune systems are compromised, people with high blood sugar frequently have an increased risk of developing skin infections. This begs an important question. Is there a more sinister reason behind your recent skin problems that you have been attributing to that new soap or lotion? I want to give you a little challenge. Try remembering whether you've experienced any of the other symptoms we're going to talk about today the next time you notice an odd skin condition. You may be surprised at the response. However, before we delve into that further, let's examine the next symptom on our list that frequently goes unnoticed. Number seven, weakened mental capacity. When we discuss high blood sugar, we frequently focus on the physical symptoms first, but our mental, memory, and focus domains are frequently overlooked. Cognitive function is the basis for all of our daily interactions, choices, and experiences. It goes beyond memory recall and problem-solving skills. A significant study showing a strong correlation between prolonged elevated blood sugar levels and a decline in cognitive abilities was published in the Journal of Neurology, Neurosurgery, and Psychiatry. The science behind it is as follows. About 20% of the body's total glucose reserves are consumed by the brain, an organ that is ravenous for the stuff. Although it requires glucose to function, too much of it can be harmful. Elevated blood sugar levels may cause inflammation, which can impact brain regions essential for memory. Hypoglycemia over time can even cause structural alterations in the brain, particularly in regions related to memory and cognitive flexibility. Moreover, the vascular impact is an additional angle to take into account. Blood vessels that supply our brains are among those that can be harmed by elevated sugar. This vascular damage may result in decreased blood flow, which would starve the brain of vital nutrients and oxygen and lead to cognitive malfunctions. Now, when you enter a room, have you ever forgotten why you entered or found it difficult to find the appropriate word in a conversation? Although these are sometimes dismissed as brain farts, repeated occurrences should raise red flags. Is high blood sugar a silent saboteur influencing these mistakes? Or is it just old age playing tricks? Keep checking back as we continue to piece together this complex puzzle and uncover additional clues that might just relate to experiences you've dismissed. Number six, urinary problems. In everyday life, urinary problems can be a minor but persistent annoyance. But have you ever taken a moment to think about the deeper meaning behind those recurrent bathroom visits rather than just the outcome of that extra cup of tea or coffee? An alarming study published by the American Neurological Association notes that elevated blood sugar levels frequently cause a rise in the frequency and urgency of urination. Elevated glucose levels cause the kidneys to go into overdrive as they attempt to filter and eliminate the extra sugar, which leads to increased frequency of urination. This is further supported by the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases which notes that polyuria, urinating more than three liters per day, is frequently linked to diabetes. Number five, headaches often. We frequently write off headaches as simple side effects of our busy lives, stress, sleep deprivation, or even an excessively bright screen. Nevertheless, these sufferings may be weaving a deeper story. The American Migraine Foundation has discovered some fascinating data that suggests a real connection between high blood sugar, diabetes, and chronic migraines. They speculate that these excruciating headaches may be caused by blood vessels in the brain being affected by unstable glucose levels. Remarkably, according to Diabetes Forecast magazine, 8% of people with type 2 diabetes report having migraines on a regular basis. If you are experiencing frequent headaches, you should consider whether these headaches are a sign of an impending glucose problem rather than just stress. Number four, a mysterious increase in appetite. After a substantial meal, hunger may seem contradictory, but your body may be using that gnawing sensation of emptiness to hint at a problem. An important study published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism suggests that elevated appetite, particularly a preference for carbohydrates and sugars, could be a sign of elevated blood glucose levels. Hunger pangs are a result of the body's inability to effectively use glucose 
due to factors such as insulin resistance. This makes you feel as though you need more food. This is further highlighted by data from the CDC, which indicates that an astounding 34.5% of adults with diabetes have constant hunger, a symptom that is often disregarded. Number three, weakness or exhaustion. Imagine a busy city where the major thoroughfares are obstructed by traffic congestion. The arterial routes stand in for the channels that distribute energy, and the city represents our body. Your body may be trying to alert you to an internal energy bottleneck if you're experiencing that all too familiar feeling of constant fatigue. Glucose is the energy under consideration. The glucose that should energize our cells gets trapped in the bloodstream when our blood sugar levels rise because insulin, the hormone that helps move glucose into cells, is either not produced at all or is not functioning at its best. According to Harvard Medical School, this glucose impasse causes our cells to become energy starved, which results in persistent weakness and exhaustion. Remarkably, a study published in the Diabetes Care Journal discovered that for many people who subsequently get a diabetes diagnosis, chronic fatigue is frequently the initial symptom. It begs the question, could my persistent fatigue be the body's alarm signal pointing to abnormal blood sugar levels? Number two, recurring thirst and binge drinking. Imagine this, a scene depicting a never-ending thirst in the middle of a desert oasis. But what if this thirst is an indication of a more serious internal imbalance rather than the result of a hot day or intense exercise? In the field of medicine, excessive thirst, a feeling that is frequently written off as a quirk or the result of an especially salty meal, becomes more significant. Polydipsia, a classical signal indicating hyperglycemia, or, to put it more simply, elevated blood sugar levels, is the term used to describe this persistent thirst. However, what connects the basic experience of thirst to the complex dynamics of our blood sugar? When blood sugar levels rise above the kidney's ability to reabsorb glucose, the sugar is released through urine. Water is needed for this process, which causes the body to draw fluid out of tissues. Dehydration results as a result, which causes thirst and internal alarm. It is an attempt by the body to replenish and rehydrate. However, as we drink more to slake our thirst, we also produce more urine, which further eliminates glucose and feeds the cycle. There is more to this mechanism than biology. One of the earliest and most well-known physical signs of impaired glucose metabolism and possible diabetes onset is hypoglycemia-induced polydipsia and the ensuing polyuria, according to a study published in the Journal of Endocrinology and Metabolism. Our body works to maintain this equilibrium, which is a system of checks and balances. But when the scales fall because of high blood sugar, this intense, insatiable thirst is the result. Have you ever imagined what the world would appear like if you looked out a foggy window? Even though it's artistic and fascinating, this kind of view is actually very uncomfortable. This brings us to our most concerning signal, which is important, obvious, and deeply ingrained in our perception of our environment, but which many people may not immediately link to blood sugar imbalances. Number one, fuzzy vision. Everything in the intricate human body is interrelated, and vision is no different. It's common to write off blurry vision as being caused by weariness or the need for new glasses. Nonetheless, it becomes even more crucial when blood sugar levels are elevated. Fluid balance is continually monitored inside our eyes, especially in the area known as the lens. We can see clearly because of the lens's ability to focus and bend light. However, the fluid and sugar balance in the lens may be upset by a sharp rise in blood sugar. The lens swells as a result of this imbalance, changing in flexibility and shape. This results in the lens losing its ability to focus properly, which causes blurred vision a phenomenon that has been extensively studied in medical literature. Moreover, long-term elevated blood sugar levels can damage the small blood vessels in the retina, the portion of the eye at the back of the eye that receives and processes visual information. This damage can eventually worsen into diabetic retinopathy, a serious eye disease that, if left untreated, can result in blindness. 
According to a research in the British Journal of Ophthalmology, almost one in three diabetics over the age of 40 exhibit diabetic retinopathy. Furthermore, a person's ability to see clearly can vary throughout the day due to variable refraction caused by the continuous fluctuation in blood sugar levels. The important point to remember is that temporary blurry or hazy vision is more complicated than simply needing a stronger prescription or a break from the computer screen. It might be your body telling you to pay attention to a deeper worry. Remembering the importance of what we have just discovered is crucial as we come to an end on this illuminating journey. Our bodies never cease to astound us with their sophisticated systems and complex machinery. Every indication, every murmur is an SOSA signal for us to pay attention. Fatigue, blurred vision, and insatiable thirst are not just complaints. They are alarm signs, a body trying to find its balance. When our blood, our very life essence, demands balance, can we really afford to ignore it? Therefore, take a moment to stop, think and pay attention to your body's message before dismissing the next unexpected thirst or sudden fatigue. That might be the most engaging story you've ever heard. It's a call for compassion, balance, and resiliency. Let's make sure that our health isn't just a footnote in the theater of life where every act has significance, but a thunderous crescendo, a narrative not of alarm, but of awareness, not of despair, but of hope. In keeping with the theme of our conversation today, I have a modest request and a big surprise. Please hit the like button if this video brightened your day, provoked thought, or even just gave you more insight into the mysteries of your own body. It's very important to us. And remember to ring that notification bell if you want to go on more enlightening adventures like this one. You can also subscribe to our channel. It will guarantee that you are informed whenever we launch something new. Your opinions, perceptions, and life experiences are really important. Leave a remark below. Let's cultivate a community based on mutual understanding and group development. Recall that information is power, and spreading it only makes it more potent. Until next time, be healthy and curious.